versus Bird. Bird? Elliot, of course. Uh, we Bird? Bird Stop. Esports. <laughs> um, Ooh. Ooh, Elliot's actually pretty good, though. Um, he's from Florida. I'm not sure if he's ranked at this point still. I think he was at some point. Uh, but he's definitely really solid. I think I had him in my Evo pool. Uh, and yeah, he, he's really good. You'll notice his, uh, his punish game is generally pretty impressive, as most Peaches are. Uh, but especially in this matchup, of course, I feel like Peach can punish Fox really hard. Uh, quite interesting that they decided to strike to Fountain. You know, I think it's a good choice, though. Cause, like, you like this? Uh, it's so annoying playing against Peach at times. Peach has a lot of counter pick stages. She's going to do well on all of them, pretty much. Um, you, know, you strike, and you're going to strike FD. Peach is going to chain grab you, and it's either striking Dreamline or Fountain. You're not going to strike Yoshi's. And you're not going to strike Battlefield. Um, That's Fox. Okay. So I you get a Dreamland or Fountain. Fountain, is, is, or I'm sorry, Dreamland depends on how you're going to play. If you're going to play really campy, then I think it's a better choice. I I feel. I mean, it's just, I feel like for the matchup, I think it's probably the most beneficial. Dreamland? If they were down to Dreamland and Fountain. Because these platforms work in Peach's, fla uh, Peach's favor because she can just go up there and just hit down on the C-Stick and she performs a smash attack that just sucks Fox into it and does multiple hits. That is very true. And I mean, of course, we're about to see a potential four stock here, and we do. So maybe you're right. Maybe <laughs> I should stop going to Founder Dreams. I should <laughs> that was uh, like probably go to Dreamland now. That was a quick <laughs> under a minute and a half. Yeah, like I said, Elliot is a monster. There's a quick scene of the uh, the background here at Genesis. It's so nuts. You see Axe right up front. You see some other uh, <laughs> some top players watching the crew battle as well. But you can really get that atmosphere. Like it, It's so crazy. The energy here is nuts. Yoshi's story is a fine pick. I imagine Elliot banned um, Fountain Dream. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Pokemon, Pokemon Stadium, yeah. which is the pretty much auto ban as Peach in a best of three. I would say that's like probably Peach's like first stage. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. All right, one for one. We take those. Okay. <laughs> he must have uh, thought he didn't use a second jump. So when you do Peach's float, uh, sometimes you actually execute her double jump and then start your float. So it's uh, sometimes it's very difficult to know um, if you use it or not. Right, right, right. It, it can be pretty tricky. That was that was, that was crazy. What? He slid yeah, super okay. far. I, I think Yoshi's is a good pick too. Again, it's gonna really go down to the Fox's playstyle. If the Fox is more a slow, like you know, kind of like me even, like I play a more of a slow pace type of Fox, then I think Dreamland's a fine pick. Although if I were playing in a against the PH for best of three, I'd probably end up going here um, if it wasn't for a Stadium. On top of the uh, character choice, the thing with Peach and why we're seeing such a dominant performance by Peach right now is probably because um, if you notice, the Fox's Tixil isn't 100%, and yeah. Peach is one of the best characters for punishing sloppy, untechnical play. No, I agree, I agree. You miss an L cancel, you eat 30%. Yeah. If you absolutely. drop a wave chime, you eat 30%. And every, it's going to be every single time. You have a little slight technical club, you're going to be getting that. I think Fox can actually be playing way more patient in this too. It is Yoshi's, but that doesn't mean you should play Reckless and Relentless. But honestly, Elliot's doing a good job about spacing him. Like, it's not just uh, Fox's errors, so Yeah, to speak. absolutely. Uh, very noticeable, Elliot's uh, punishes have been really, really strong. Look at that. Right there, he's gonna get it. He's generally been good about following up with those, and his edge guards have been pretty solid. Yeah, even then though, even if he didn't get it, it's still so much percentage. And in, in comparison to that, you know, you get down to your shrine, that's gonna be what, 12% if that? With no up smash, so it, it's kind of unfortunate. Um, but Fox really needs to clean up and be a little bit quicker if he wants to end up coming back. That was nice. Ooh. That was nice. I'd like to see Fox just be a little more uh, proficient with his tech skill, and I think he can definitely bring this back. But it is going to be a uh, uphill battle if he doesn't do something soon. I don't know if he's going to get in his way with any more Ooh. of those short hop fair or full hop fairs. Yeah, <laughs> that was crazy, I and mean, that's unfortunate.